ready friends i have great pleasure in inaugurating this lawyers conference in this very ancient city being myself a lawyer my happiness is all the more greater to meet some old faces and also young people engaged in this very noble profession many of you may not be quite aware of the freedom movement of the country and the great part played by lawyers if you turn the pages of our history you will certainly be very happy to know and also feel proud about it that it was left to brilliant lawyers from various parts of the country to lead and guide the freedom struggle in those days i know there were lawyers in the profession who were having a good practice in the bar and influential with the then government they never hesitated to leave their profession and also lose huge sums of money which they were earning to join the freedom movement at the call of the father of the nation after winning freedom for the country many efficient members of the profession entered the legislatures and the constituent assembly they sat together with the other members of the various other professions and had drafted the present constitution which is praised by many people in other countries they have also taken part in the administration of the states in various capacities now we find that the same spirit continues in them and many of them have associated themselves with some of the political parties i hope the parties concerned in general and the country as a whole will stand to gain by their valuable advice in all matters relating to administration their knowledge about law will i am sure greatly help in drafting many a good piece of legislation meant for the benefit of the people at large now coming to their profession as such being a senior lawyer with some experience in the field i have a desire to share a few thoughts with you i do not propose to advise you because i know as lawyers who are capable of understanding things well and acting as per your discretion nevertheless it is my duty to suggest to you that you should keep yourself informed of the events taking place in the country you should know something of everything under the sun no doubt a thorough knowledge of fundamental law and special laws is very necessary if you want to make a mark in your profession it is also needless for me to say that you should be thoroughly honest in your dealings with everyone whether it be your clients the judges or others in conclusion i would like to refer to another matter occasionally we hear complaints against members of the profession being involved in professional misconduct it pains me to a great extent i know that most of the complaints may be untrue or partially true nevertheless you should guard yourself against even a suspicion and be good examples of honesty and integrity thank you
letter dated 25th November 1988 from Krishna Engineering Works, Pallavaram, to the General Manager, Bharat Heavy Electricals, Trichirapalli. Dear Sir, Kindly refer to your letter of 10th November as the undersigned had been out of station for a fortnight in connection with a business tour in the north. There has been this delay in sending you a reply. We are sorry to note that our Madurai unit has sent you not only defective materials but also sent materials which had been previously rejected by you. We have taken up the matter with the works manager of the Madurai unit and will revert to you on receipt of reply from him. In any case, we agree with you that it is against business principles to send you goods which have once been rejected by you. With regard to your order dated 12th August 1988 for the supply of some special items, we shall be pleased to manufacture them and try to supply them within the time specified by you. Of course, these are special items which require greater care and superior quality of raw materials. We assure you of our prompt and efficient service. Yours faithfully.